here we have in real time, and that looks kind of, that looks kind of last gen to me, so uh, maybe it even looks kind of like an undead wolf. So why don't we um, go ahead and make them furry? So there we go. So this is fur, um, but it doesn't look quite right yet because we, well, we've got a couple of hundred thousand pieces of hair on this wolf. It's not moving quite right. So we've got the, the hair and the fur and the rendering, but now nah, no simulation. So let's go ahead and fire up the simulation. And now it's starting to look pretty badass. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see in the next which You're going to see, you know, wolves that look pretty freaking scary. The other thing, of course, if you play The Witcher is, you know, they tend to wear a few animal pelts and cloaks and, and stuff like that. So there's there's fur all over the place in that game. So you're going to see really nice rendered, simulated fur all over the place. And, you know, we've got, you know, the PC has a fair amount of horsepower, so we, we can't we can do more than a wolf, right? So, yeah, there we go. So, this is the kind of tech that we're working with developers on. This is Witcher 3, um, and CD Project Guys, CD Project Red. Um, and this is a... Uh, they use hair and fur integrated in some of their art and assets and some of the way between the pages. So that's pretty cool stuff. I could kind of look at that for a while. <laughs> There's a lot of those 